I used to be a taxi driver. Even though I wasn't making much and I worked from dawn to dusk, I was glad to be working. It was a bad time and some other people were worse off than me. It was that very taxi that drew Salieri's people to me in the first place. One day I was on my break and I was just hanging out, suddenly I heard a tremendous crash. Sam! They got me! Damn it! Climb up and move. There's a taxi. We'll be okay. It was clear to me that these guys had to get out of there fast, so I thought it was best to cooperate, rather than ending up with a hole in my head. Move it. Come on! Where to? Anywhere! Fast! I hope you're damn fast! Faster than Sam here was! I burned rubber out of there like a bat out of hell. It didn't matter where, just away from those gentlemen who were chasing my new customers. Now listen carefully. We gotta shake these clowns behind us. If you don't do it, then we're done for. That includes you. Step on it, kid. Try this one time! Woo! We're going slower than a trolley car! I don't know, but that car's got something pushing it. I'll kill you! They're still on our tail. You end up a bed full of holes or what? Christ! Move it if you want to save your own ass! Idiot, go! Move it if you want to save your own ass! Christ! Great! <laughs> we made it! Good work, brother. Now take us to Sayeri's bar. I'll show you the way. You ain't lost by chance.
Finally, we're home. Wait here, friend. Sam will get you a little something from Mr. Salieri. Thanks for your help. Mr. Salieri would like to thank you as well as myself and Pauly. It's compensation for the damage to your car and your services. It should be enough. Yes, uh, of course. Thanks. Uh, give my regards to Mr. Salieri. Mr. Salieri wants you to know that he is very grateful to you. If you ever need anything, you can come back and ask for help. Because Mr. Salieri doesn't forget about friends who have helped him out. If you're interested, maybe we could find a job for you here. And it would pay well. We always have positions for guys as good as you. Okay, uh, okay. I'll think about it. Thanks. Uh, really, thanks. I'd, I'd better go uh, to fix the car and so on. All right. I understand. Just think about it. And I hope it's clear that this matter is only between ourselves. You take care, kid. When I opened the envelope, I almost had a heart attack. There was more than it would cost to do the repairs. But I didn't for a minute think about their offer. I didn't want to join some criminals, even if they had all the money in the world. It's better to be poor and alive than rich and dead, right? I was going to get my cab repaired and try to forget it all as soon as possible. As my mother always said, you can never predict what God has in store for you. <laughs> 